Recently on one of my videos, I was asked how I find the center lines on the top half of this cup. And if you look here, you got the Arctic logo. So you have something to work with, which I mean, on the back side of the cup, if all you're doing is a logo on the back, you, you still kind of want to find a center point from where this logo is. That way it's, it's symmetrical. I'm, I'm a big fan of having symmetrical. So the first thing I did is I just found the center point on the Arctic logo, which puts it about right here. Then I use a bevel, a T bevel to find, again, this has a nice flat wide surface. So I can line it up just by eye. And I'll just hold this in place and then I'll take my Sharpie and run along here. And I didn't, trying to do this on camera, sometimes you don't get it just right the first time, so. All right, so here's, here's my line, my center line. And that's gonna be basically splitting part of that T. And you're not gonna have a perfect center between the T and the I because the R and the T are actually wider than the I and the C. And I figured that out working with the Yeti, they have the same issue. You actually have to go into the E a little bit on Yeti. So now I've got this line and it's in line with that T. The next thing I do that seems to work best for me and everybody's mileage may vary, but I measure from the top down and I like to use nine, which is down here as the full from, you know, cause that's where it starts to curve. So from here to here, so what you want to do is just make a mark at four and a half. And again, this is a little bit different on the Yeti. So I've got on the Arctic, I've got uh, my mark there. And the last thing I do, sometimes I will need to put a line across the top like I did here. And the easiest way to do that, and it's not easy to do on camera, so I'm not gonna try it again. But essentially, I just take one of these grid lines that corresponds with the distance that I want from the top, and I line that up with the top edge. And I just make sure that it's either all, the line is all on, or all above the edge, so that I have it level all the way around. And then I'll just draw the line, I guess. And that came out pretty good. But basically that gives you an idea of where to line up your vinyl. If you have a space above your vinyl and you, you want it a certain distance down. But generally what I do is I'll mark a spot in the middle of my vinyl and try to line it up over the dot. Every now and then a logo will happen to have vinyl there that's still blocking where that center point is. So I have to do a, a top line. But hopefully that'll help you speed up your process of trying to find the center of the cup and get them, get your logos or names, uh, images, whatever you're going to put on here. Nice. A couple and of the quick tips. I'll use the square here for locating the center point on a name. So this one's going to be nine. So again, same as with the cup, it's going to be four and a half. Let's go that direction. And then three quarters of an inch top to bottom. So I actually hit it about right. So that's the center point. And depending on what type of transfer paper you're using, the lines may either help or not help, but so, and I'll take the center line beyond the transfer paper actually I think having it on the vinyl. Is actually better because when I go to line this up on the cup, I can see above and below where the line that I drew was. You can see that. So 
that's how I line it up. And then when I put the vinyl on, I start with the center. I get the center where I want it and place it in place. And then I rub it out from the middle. So that gives me a decently straight, almost, most of the time, almost perfect. One other thing I wanted to point out. So from here to here, this is perfectly centered. It's level. It's not angled one way or the other. When you flip the cup around, you're going to see the vinyl overlapped a little bit. So this becomes real obvious. The center is a low point, And when you go out to the outside edges, it's a little bit higher. And that's because of the shape of the cup. It's a little wider at the top than it is at the bottom. So as it widens, you're going to see a little bit more tilting on the outside edges. That is completely what you should expect. And this logo is still on perfectly straight. And when you blast it, you won't have these lines here. This will all just be nice and, and level and, and the way it's supposed to be. Just another little thing. So if you put your logo on and you start worrying that this was too, too high on the edges or whatever, just so you know, that's the way it would be. So one thing I do is I'll knock off those tips and then I'll just hit it with this to make sure it's nice and tight. It takes out a lot of those creases. That's all I do. And then I'll tape up the cup and it should be ready to uh, sandblast. Now these creases at the bottom, they're gonna get covered with tape when I mask this off. Same thing here. But just know that wherever there's a crease in it, that's, that's considered a weak point. And when you're blasting, it can, it can actually chew through that. So you wanna make sure if there is any creases like that and you're not able to get them out completely, go ahead and make sure that area is taped. You don't wanna have the media blast through it.